Are there some issues about the Eatsy Star Seller badge? You betcha. Let's cover them today. So for those who don't know what I'm talking about, the Eatsy Star Seller badge was announced on Wednesday. I have a few videos on that, but a quick recap. This is going to be a badge that will go on your shop page and it'll say you're a star seller. It has a number of criteria. It's assessed on a three month rolling basis and the first star badges will be awarded on the 1st of September. So if this badge is something you're going to want, then we've only got a month left out of the three months to, to sort out things and get our badge. I have a load of videos on this subject already. I'll link them for you if you want to go into more depth and figuring out what this is all about. But today I just want to go through some of the issues that we're seeing with this already. Now I've been looking at my shop, talking to friends, looking at your comments and guys, this is not going to be the definitive list. Some people are going to come on with new issues as well. So always remember and check the comments. There's some great stuff in there. And I've been following the forums, especially the thread, the Q&A to Eatsy staff that they're going to be answering on Friday, hopefully. Last I looked, the thread was closed down for a bit. I think they're getting more, more questions than they anticipated. But anyway, let's go through these issues. So firstly, issues with the messaging system. So with the messages, we have to get 95 of our initial initial messages to a customer have to be replied to within 24 hours. One issue with that is if you're also a buyer, then when you buy something, if a seller messages you, you getting back to that message still counts towards your 95%. So even if a seller messages you with, thank you very much for purchasing from, you, from me, at the minute in time, you're going to have to reply to that to get your 95%. The way the chat is set up, sometimes customers can send multiple messages in one go rather than keeping a thread going you'll get a hello that's one message where's my order that's a different message what do I do about this this is a different message so you can't reply to them all in the one thread you might have to either well, I wouldn't advise this, but set the other messages to spam or at least have a little canned response that says something along the lines of, oh, I have answered you in the other thread. If you could message me there, please. Marking people's messages as spam. For instance, if you've sold to someone who's also a seller and you've sent your custom, your your initial email to them and they cut, they don't need to respond to it, they might mark you as spam. And people are saying, if you have too many messages marked as spam, this can be held against you. It could limit your ability to send messages. I've never seen this, but I'm hearing people say this. So sellers could be trying to do the right thing when they're getting a message that they don't want to reply to, just marking it as spam, and it could end up hurting you. Replying to a message within 24 hours is a high standard that Eatsy don't hold themselves to. I messaged them a couple of days, still waiting for my answer. No five stars for you, Eatsy. And there also have already been known issues with counting messages since January this year. So they really need to get that system fixed if they're going to bring it out into this system. The second factor is ratings. You've got to get 95% five star ratings. So this unfairly impacts small shops. If you're doing the best that you can, but you only have that minimum 10 orders in the three month period, if one customer gives you a four star review, that's you already in big trouble. That's you down at 90% when everything else is perfect. Whereas if a shop has 100 orders and one person gives a four star review, they're still at 99%. So that's not such a big deal for them. And speaking of four stars, some buyers just give four stars. It's considered good. It's saying everything was great, but they withhold five stars for exceptional. And we can't guess what the exceptional is because some buyers love it when you add little sweeties and extra notes and little freebies. Others hate it. So there is nothing you can do to please every single customer. A big fear I've got here is it allows customers to bully sellers. Too often already I see sellers immediately freak out and are asking, offering refunds and sending extra products if a customer leaves 
bad star reviews and the more that customers get wise to this. Now, it's very few customers that are trying to play the system like this, but the more weight we put on stars, the more customers can kind of hold us to ransom. Sure, they're not allowed to bully us. They're not allowed to specifically say, do this unreasonable thing and I'll give you five stars. But so many sellers are bending over backwards already to try and get those five stars that they're offering too much and customers will take advantage. Now, this is one that I haven't been able to check, but I'm told that on a phone, customers are only able to give four stars. I do not know if this is true. If someone can let me know in the comments down below if this is true. I have no orders that I'm needing to leave reviews for and I do everything on my PC, so I haven't seen it. I hope you're, I hope you're ready because the third factor is the big one on mistakes so far and that is dispatching and tracking. So we have to have 95% again of items delivered on time with processing on time with either tracking numbers added or buying through Etsy shipping labels. So firstly, shipping labels are simply not available in every country. They're actually relatively new in the UK, past couple of years, and they're not rolled out to all countries. So that's unfair for international sellers. And speaking of international sellers, tracking is not standard in all countries. I know the UK and Canada, it's not standard to have tracking. And for many countries, it just costs so much more to add tracking. I've heard in the past couple of days that Etsy are looking into this issue. They apparently didn't realise how much tracking was compared to what it is in the US. A well-planned out launch here, Etsy. One that's really important for me, our local post offices are important to the community, but if we buy shipping labels, they do not support the local post offices. From what I understand, our post offices don't get paid for processing these parcels, whereas if you go in directly to your post office, they get a small fee from the Royal Mail for processing the parcels for them. With shipping labels, that doesn't happen. And certainly in the UK, if we don't support our small post offices, we could lose them and these have really important functions for a lot of people such as banking and even a, an affordable corner shop. One thing that people aren't realising, it's not explained by Etsy so well here, the ratings are not on the orders that you have had in this three month period. The ratings are based on when the rating comes in. So this is like a little bit in the past. So if you were really close to getting your three month badge and you got an order at the end of the month, that's not going to count if you get a five star rating. It won't count because that rating is going to come in in the next month. People are reporting this as a fault, saying, how can I have seven, eight, nine ratings when I've only made three sales or something random like that? And this is why it's looking at the number of ratings you've had, not the number of sales that you've had. And Easy does not accept proof of posting. As we say, in these places where you're not adding tracks, where you can't afford to add tracks, we're still going into the shop and getting our little proof of posting, but there's no way to input that. Thankfully, in the UK at least, if you're buying a first class parcel, if you're shipping a first class parcel, then you do get a code that works as a tracking number, even though it's not exactly tracking, it just tells you when the item was posted and when it's been delivered, but that's good enough. But for inter international orders, your proof of posting, you have no way to input that. And Etsy don't accept when we close our order, when we say it's been dispatched, they don't take that as our shipping date. So if you don't have tracking, then Etsy are going to say your processing time might have been okay, but you haven't shipped it in time. And this is ridiculous. It's sitting saying it's not been shipped when the customers have already received it and left a glowing review. Honestly, I don't think your shipping can be penalised if your customer says they're totally happy with your item, just because the method's different to what Etsy predicted because they're used to sellers in the US with a certain size of parcel using a certain shipping method. A big one, your ship by date, your processing time does not take into account public holidays. So they're expecting you to ship when your post office isn't open. And again, the time when they're counting your orders, your number of orders are not orders that have gone in in this three month period. They are orders that are showing as the processing time, the time you're supposed to post them are in these three months. 
So if people have custom items like myself with a long processing time, then we are going to be unfairly penalized. It's going to be really difficult. Even sales made just now might not be counting for my star seller in time for Black Friday, might not be counting in time for my shop closing for Christmas. And of course, if the buyers have already bought these, if someone bought something from you yesterday, you can't retrospectively change it to charge them for tracking because now you know that'll help you with the star seller's badge. Local pickup or custom digital designs with no shipping because there's no shipping are going to be penalised. Etsy have said that this is going to be an issue just now. Now, I have seen someone say that they added their own when they said shipping method, they said other, myself, and added in a made up code. I don't know if that's going to work. It seems a little weird. Do not use it just now until we hear back from Etsy if that's acceptable. £10, $15 is too low for stuff to not be tracked. If the tracking is super expensive, I mean, for me to ship to the States is going to be about 20 quid. So I don't want to add 20 quid shipping onto a 20 quid item. I think the, the limit for things that you don't have to send via tracking should be a little bit higher. Sometimes even if you have got tracking or even if you have used Etsy's labels, the post office don't scan it for a few days. You take it in, you've done everything right, it's on your you're in time. But if the post office haven't scanned it, then you look like you were late for shipping and you'll be penalised for that when it was not the case. Some systems like the UK's click and drop marks that the item's been dispatched but doesn't add in tracking numbers. So you're going to have to go back and add them yourself. This is time consuming. Another weird one. If you buy a replacement label, if something's gone wrong with your order or you want to change something for your customer and you buy a replacement e label from Etsy, then your shipping date ch changes to this new label. So you'll be late for shipping again. This is really going to encourage people not to use shipping labels for the second send of something. And this often is good customer support. If something's gone wrong and you're offering to send a replacement, you shouldn't be penalised. And a couple of other features that not everyone will see. You have to make more than 10 orders in the three months and make around... £200 or $300, I think it was. This penalises small volume sellers. Now, this isn't just necessarily small shops, but people that do really high-end custom work, they're not necessarily going to make 10 sales in three months because each item takes a month to make. But they're definitely valuable sellers and their customer support could be off the charts. And equally, the monetary value, this can make it difficult for high volume, low price sellers. But it's kind of rewarding resellers and people with copyright infringing items. So this, I think, is going to look a bit bad if buyers are looking and going, oh, this is a top shop that's selling tons of illegal items. Yeah, well done. So I'm going to say again, do not freak out about this whole thing. We have to wait and see what it's going to do for us. But I do feel they've got a lot of things to iron out and they've only given us a month to try and fix things if we want this badge. I really believe if they're giving us a system that's taking into account 90 days, three months, they should have given us three months warning. When they launched this, they should have said in three months time, all your sales from now on are going to count towards this. In fact, it's more than three months because I'm on about six weeks processing time. So it's four and a half months for me. Anyway, this is some of the issues that I see just now. I'm sure Etsy will get at least some of them fixed and I'm sure at least for a small time this is not going to be a majorly big deal. But let me know in the comments down below what other issues that you're seeing that you think Etsy hasn't thought of. What things are you concerned about here? I know quite a lot of you are worried about what's going to happen in future. Etsy tells us that it won't affect ranking yet. If it starts to affect ranking, this is going to be a massive deal. And also, of course, Etsy say they can change this at any time. So if we all give howls of protest at the things that don't work for us, hopefully they can start removing them. It would be nice if they realised the rest of the world can't necessarily do tracked and they cut us a break here. And if they would please figure out what's going on with the post office and the Royal Mail in the UK. But anyway, I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.